want to do is get this camera on my good camera at least get that camera on Just turn this on do 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 this hold up hold up wait 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 let me cook let me cook okay there we go Ooh. all right all right now we're good we're good we're good we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling but seven rolls around right. and her friend's not there all right let's start it again what i'm about to show you is all right this creepy scary story nonsense whatever we're here with it i don't think i'm gonna get scared i don't get scared like that you feel me not the type to get scared. Maybe I am, but we'll see. So let's go. Is the photo Katrina Whaling captured on her ring camera? Creepy. Oh, okay, that's fine. So Katrina lives alone down a long country road in West Texas. All right. Three nights ago, she invited a friend over for dinner at 7 p.m. But seven rolls around and her friend's not there. And then eight rolls around and her friend is still not there. And that's when Katrina starts to hear footsteps outside. Slow at first, but then it starts to sound like someone is running full speed at her house. Okay. Thinking it's her friend, she goes to open the door, but no one is there. So Katrina calls no, I her didn't. friend. No, I didn't. You have no proof for that. line picks up, it's just heavy breathing. And then laughing. She's really freaked out now, so she... This is like, uh, Curse of Cowardly Dog's house. Just without the windmill. Runs upstairs, but that's when she gets the notification that someone is at her front door. And this was that someone. Katrina is still alive to tell the tale, but there's been an uptick in Reddit users complaining in West Texas. Reddit users. Outside and then answering the door. Why she letting the Reddit control that? This is why you have to be careful who you let into your Halloween parties. So this is a photo of who police believed was a guest at a Halloween party in Rochester, New York in the 1940s. The party was being thrown by Jack and Amelia Layton, and they actually noticed that this guest was outside of the party watching the guests through a window. Right. The report claims that Amelia believed the guest was her friend Jan, who tended to go above and beyond for Halloween, creating very scary costumes. So she let this person in believing it was her friend Jan. But then 20 minutes later, Jan shows up, and that guest could not be found anywhere. So Amelia starts running around the party asking everyone if they knew who that guest was and no one had recognized that person. Okay. So she goes into her daughter's room who was playing while the party was happening. And the police report states that the only thing there left of Amelia's daughter was a bloody shoe. Four wow. other reports of this guest being at parties that night were called into police and all of them resulted in missing children's cases. The identity of this person has never been found, and none of the kids have been found either. This is Norman. Norman was created approximately 18 years ago to see him in a music video for the band Interpol. However, people cherish hey, this. Hey, this is kind of creepy. Unfortunately, Norman went missing for 10 years. In 2014, a public sale became listed on iCollector.com under the title Animatronic Creepy Ghoul Puppet from Music Video. After 10 years, Norman had reappeared, and he appeared very badly. Having a devoted fan base, nobody bought him and he went missing once more for another five years until a youtuber managed to locate him and purchase him let's take a look at this photo idiot photo. captured outside of a small area from chihuahua mexico it is the only definitive proof we have of the night lady back in like 2009 to 2010 the just night outside lady. Of it's a trash name i ain't gonna care the city it was plagued the night lady very trash okay. was this woman she was witnessed and sketched breaking into windows only at night where she would take children from their beds there was only one child who ever survived an abduction when this woman was caught in the bedroom trying to take him from his bed and she fled through the window ultimately this child was able to give a witness account of the woman what was learned is that it's believed she climbs on rooftops during the day and then waits until nightfall to crawl through a window you wake up and right. at the foot of your bed you would find her staring at you with a knife in hand. Despite an extensive investigation, she would never be found, nor were the children, but we do have this. A teenage girl captured this through her ground floor window shortly after midnight of what is believed to be the night lady. It is the only photo we might have of her. 
I want you to take a look at this picture snapped from a group of friends back in 2012. Let me explain the haunting backstory behind uh -huh. this picture. It's not for the faint of heart. These friends are thrill seekers, right? So their thing is that they go to explore abandoned buildings all throughout their state in Illinois. But there was one town in particular that really piqued War. their interest because allegedly it had a madman who was still on the loose. One who police believed was responsible for several bodies that were found in this area, all with their heads missing, assuming that he took them with him. So they come to this town because they're planning to spend the night in this abandoned hospital in this picture so they can record content. But as the night goes on and things get darker, they suddenly get this eerie feeling like they're not alone in this hospital. But while they're exploring in the dark, they start snapping pictures on their phone to try to illuminate the rooms that they're in, and they finally start to explore the showers, which was where they snapped this okay. photo, which was more than enough to scare them into leaving. They didn't know what that was, so they yeah, called police who searched the hospital and realized that that's not a map. Yeah, I see uh, a blood bath in the shower. And I see a head hanging. Yeah, let me stay, right? Ask. Caution for the photo that you are about to see. This was captured on the ring doorbell of Jessica Gerald <laughs> on a 2014 morning around 3 that's more, a.m. That's more funny than creepy, to be honest. ...shot that we have of the man who broke into her home. For context, this is a small town right outside of Omaha, Nebraska. Like, bad things don't happen here, or so everyone thought. Unprovoked and completely without motive, the man was seen on camera around 3, and then he... Oh, that's a dude? Glass. I didn't even know that shit. Scoring tool where he very quietly makes a hole in the window and then enters through the living room. So the following morning, Jessica Gerald, she doesn't go into work, so her family is contacted and they go mm. to her home where she is found without her head or her tongue. Media investigation was... What? She doesn't have her head. I get... Oh, oh okay. But without her tongue launched where the footage was eventually recovered. The man seen here had also posed her body without the head sitting up. Do you guys remember humans can lick too? This was one of the most popular scary stories when I was a kid. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Exactly. The story goes like there was a young girl who was staying home alone one night while her parents went out. They were okay. going to be home early the next morning, but they were confident that the girl would be okay because she had her dog to protect her. Before the girl went to bed, she locked every single window and door in the house, except there was one window in the basement that wouldn't close. After several minutes of trying, the girl finally got the window closed, but it wouldn't lock. The lock was stuck. Yeah. She thought, it'll be fine, and she started to get herself ready for bed. The girl laid down for bed around 8 o'clock. My only question is, how old is this little girl? Because... One, if she's like no older than what, like 10, then the parents are bad parents. Because if you're leaving your eight year old kid home by themselves with their dog as their babysitter, come on, man. Like, really? That's bad parents. And honestly, like, the only time I let my son or daughter stay home by themselves is when they're at, uh, Probably like middle school level. Probably the only time. Not not during elementary school. Not not at all. Like 11, you know, sitting around that age, you know what I'm saying? And her dog went to lay under her bed. She went to say goodnight to her dog and stuck her hand under her bed so that her dog could lick it. She woke up a couple hours later with a weird feeling, wanted to see if her dog was still under her bed. So she put her hand down there and her dog licked it. A couple hours later, the same thing. Her dog licked her hand. I didn't realize the story would be longer than a Do you notice something kind Okay. Kind of off about this mannequin. For anyone who's familiar with the legend, she is known as La Pascualita. The mannequin has stood in the window of a Mexican bridal shop for more than 90 years, but when she was first All placed right. there, patrons noticed something kind of strange. The detail work on this mannequin was unusual. She was noted with eyebrow hair, veins, and even the eyebrows look very real. And discoloration. I mean, the her eyes, mouth. not the eyebrows, the eyes look and very real. ears. But that suspicion soon grew to horror as patrons started to notice that she bore a striking resemblance to the owner's deceased daughter, Pascuela. Pascuela was actually set to be married herself, but ended up Yuck. dying in a tragedy before her wedding day. Shortly after her death, the mannequin appeared in the window, and the legend was born that these were the preserved remains of the owner's daughter. But the most compelling evidence has always been the hands. The hands are shown with wrinkles, they have veins. They even have lifelike fingernails, which is unlike any mannequin I have ever seen. The question sure. remains to this day, could this really be the shop owner's daughter? Nothing scares me like Appalachia. So this Thanksgiving, Paige... Bless you, what'd she just say? Appalachia? She's meeting her boyfriend's family for the first time in Appalachia. And basically, immediately upon Appalachia? arriving to the area, what is she starts getting a bad feeling. She chalks it up to nerves, but it keeps getting worse that night. 
The family was all Bit having chills, dinner maybe. inside, but there was a window open. And Paige starts to hear whistling coming from the woods through the window. She doesn't really think anything of it because maybe someone was outside smoking. But that night, the whistling comes back louder. And on top of that, it sounds like someone is saying her name over and over and over again. Ah. So she goes to the window to see what's up, and there's just two red eyes staring back at her from the woods. The next morning at breakfast, she asked the family what that could have been, and they immediately looked like they saw a ghost. They told her to never speak of it ever again, and the next time she hears something, no, she didn't. So Paige is freaked out, but she has another mm. night in the house. And that's when her boyfriend pulls her aside to show her this photo. This is what their trail cam caught the night before, and she was to never mention it again. Let's take a look at this photo. I this wonder why. This was pulled from the evidence archives what of the, the Michigan heck? State Homicide Unit. It is the only known photo we have of who was known as the Skinner. So in the early 70s, in a rural part of Michigan, something very strange was going on. It started out as just a very high number of women who were going missing in this county, but it would soon turn very very dark. It was like for every one of these women that went missing, there was always an article of clothing found as well as a severed foot. So after all of these months of investigating and questioning people, they eventually stumble upon this abandoned home in the county and they would obtain a warrant to search it. Inside were all of the bodies of the women, every single one of them, and they had all been skinned alive. This place was littered with Jesus. all of these Polaroids that this man had taken of everything he had done to these women, but he only took one photo of himself. This picture, as he's never been caught, and this is all we know of, of the Skinner. You guys had an intense reaction to the last well, photo I showed you, so I found you another one. This one, I feel like you might be able to immediately pick apart what's wrong with this picture. The sourcing on this is a little murky, although it's believed to have been captured at the Fall Ridge Academy boarding school for girls in the basement hallway. So the girl who took this picture, it's believed that she thought her friends were following her through this hallway. Down so a she plan. took the picture, right. thinking it was a prank to send to the group chat, not realizing what she had caught. A sort of eerie presence that she was picking up on was of a man who was hiding behind this classroom door and you can see his face in the window and if we get even closer you can really see those features in the window she was attacked by oh the man i just and seen her it would oh, be shoot. hours before she was found she was found critical wait 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 survived, which is how wait. we got a police hold on, hold on, wait. to this but i gotta go back to the photo hold on had caught a sort of eerie presence that she was picking up on was of a man who was hiding behind this classroom door and you can see his face in yeah the I can and if see we it. Even, although it would be hours before That's crazy. she was found she was found critical but survived which is how we got a police composite to this day this still remains as the only visual of the person who was hiding in that basement and now that you've seen this image you're haunted the only way to avoid that is by clicking the plus dropping a like or watching the whole video good luck I hate people that do this, bro. My friends. My friends is the expressionless. Yes, that's the name. 1972, this woman showed up to a hospital wearing nothing but a white bloody gown. I know, hospital, bloody gown, things gotta match up, but it gets worse. There are two distinct things about this woman that made people go frantic, scream, and even leave the hospital. The even expressionless. Doctors. First being that she wasn't exactly human. She was built like a mannequin, not just a joke. Genuinely, she was practically a mannequin. She was not human. Was able to talk, walk, and communicate as a human which freaked them out. She had a kid in between where her teeth should be that was spewing blood out, which was where the blood was coming from on the nightgown. Then took the kitten out of her mouth, threw it across the room, and collapsed on the floor. Sub when the hospital it. members tried to sedate her, she fought back, with the same blank expression on her face. It took two doctors to hold her down. He looked at one of the male doctors, turned her head while her face was still blank, and then smiled. Her two is absolutely insane, so click the plus, drop a like, and follow me for more. You ever see a picture that just gives you it's always this dude full doing body it. chills? This photo was captured in 2007, and it seems like kind of a harmless picture, right? There's nothing that's very out of the ordinary. It's taken outside of an apartment window by a woman named Maria. Leontinka in Czech Republic. The man was just outside of the apartment. He was mm. screaming, he was shouting, and this woman took the picture because she was going to report it to the property manager, having no idea that something very dark just occurred in that building. Inside that apartment building in 209 was a family of four, all of which had been decapitated, and it's believed that man who was captured was responsible. Police are then able to connect the dots of another picture that was taken across town on the same exact day. It's believed to have been the same man, that he approached this group of teenagers and he was bragging about what he had just done, and they weren't sure if he was for real, if he was kidding, psychotic, so they took a picture of his face before he eventually ran. And this was the best shot they got. They even sketched the man, but they never found him, and his motive remained unknown. That's like Pennywise if he had a small little, you know, little buzz cut almost. Boy, what? Oh, no, no. This experiment turned this woman 
into a monster. During World War II, there was a rumor that the Germans were on the edge of developing super troops, which could be used in the war. This would cause other governments to also try to make super soldiers. But because the experiment was very dangerous, no one wanted to be a lab rat. However, Albert Western, one of the leading scientists, offered his daughter Abigail for the terrible experiment. When the experiment began, it went downhill fast. Her bone structure began to change rapidly, and her hair fell out. She went completely insane shortly after that. Her father still had some hope that the project would work, but it didn't. He could not take it, so he ended his own life. The other scientists tried to get rid of Abigail and tried to starve her in her cell, but she got out and attacked the guards. It is said that she escaped, and no one knows where she went, and that is how. I got that probably was the creepiest one at all, and I'm not even gonna lie. Man, I get too scared on that. It's good, it's very creepy. I just upgraded my status. I put on Dior because I just love fashion. Let's make the play for the pad he tassin. Told him I should be a I take my cut from the back end. I run up some racks. Racks. Real fast, never crashing. Actually, it's ready.